Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Odd Eyes Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for December 2023. Wanted to update the Odd Eyes deck. The fact that I haven't updated it since Dimension Force, when we got Odd Eyes Pendulum Graphs Pendulum Form, shows that it's been a good while since the last update, when I wanted to focus on a deck that uses primarily all the different Odd Eyes Pendulum monsters that we have from the Arc 5 manga, the Arc 5 anime all together in one deck and the many different extra deck variants we have to work with plus we had all of this new pendulum support that came out in age of overlord that can also help with the setup for the odd eyes cards so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. For the Odd Eyes monsters, we're running three copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. This could potentially be a two of. Odd Eyes is great for the search power that it provides. Just being able to have this card at the end of the turn, destroy it in the Pendulum Zone, and add one Pendulum Monster with 1,500 or less attack from our deck to our hand. And if it battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts becomes double. But Odd Eyes is used for a good majority of some of our other plays, including a special summon target target from our next monster which is odd eyes arc pendulum dragon this is a normal uh odd eyes monster with this card if an odd eyes monster or an odd eyes card you control is destroyed by battle or car effect you can special summon one odd eyes monster from your deck you know, or your hand or graveyard you can only use this effect of odd eyes arc pendulum dragon once per turn so if you have arc pendulum in one pendulum scale and odd eyes in the other at the end of the turn when you use the destruction effect of odd eyes you can then use arc pendulum dragon to summon out another copy of odd eyes onto the field giving yourself that search that you had from the odd eyes in the pendulum scale and then the newly special summon one from your your deck onto the field thanks to Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. And for the other three ofs, three copies of Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, a scale 12 monster. You cannot pendulum summon except for dragon monsters. This effect cannot be negated. You can target one dragon fusion synchro or exceeds monster in your graveyard. Destroy this card and special summon that target. We run plenty of other dragon fusion dragon synchro and also dragon exceeds monsters in the deck so having this card be able to summon those cards out in the field and then destroy this card will also clear up our extra deck restrictions but also give us a monster that we can then use with this card to then summon out onto the field and it cannot be normal summoner set it must be pendulum summon from your hand or be special summon from your hand by tributing three dragon monsters one fusion synchro and exceeds and you can discard this card and pay 500 life points to add one level eight or lower dragon pendulum monster from your deck to your hand and with this card it's mostly used for that search or that additional resource or just a high scale to set up on the field also and with this card being able to have the discard of another card you could potentially discard cards with this card having the search for that needed monster you need and for the last of the three ofs that we run in the Odd Eyes deck, three copies of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Once per turn during the end phase, if your opponent activated a card or effect this turn that targeted one Odd Eyes Pendulum monster you control and no other cards while this card is in your Pendulum Zone, special summon this card and place one face up Odd Eyes Pendulum from your extra deck in your Pendulum Zone, except for Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, giving you more of a recycle for some of the other cards we may have destroyed with this card. And once per turn quick effect, you can target a face up monster on the field that was special summon from the extra deck it has its effects negated until the end of this turn so having this card set up on the field gives you another answer to your opponent's cards which is why i also like to run it as another three of with some of our high scale cards being revolution dragon and arc pendulum having a low scale like persona dragon means that we can also special summon it if we have cards like odd eyes pendulum dragon in our pendulum zone using all four of these dragons together gives us options to be able to summon them all out onto the field for varying plays for some of the lower numbers for our Odd Eyes monsters, I were on one copy of Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. You can ritual summon this card with Odd Eyes Advent. It must either be ritual summoned or pendulum summoned from your hand. Each time your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, inflict 300 damage to them. And once per turn when your opponent activates a spell card or effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone and negate that effect if you do. So this is a great burn damage card to rely on, being able just to summon it out with a pendulum summon. The one copy of Odd Eyes Phantasma Dragon being able 
to discard one card, add one face of Dragon Pendulum from your extra deck to your hand, giving you recycle power for some other cards like our Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon to then set a perfect scale with Odd Eyes Phantasm to be able to summon out any of the monsters that we run in the deck. And also the one copy of Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon for another high scale option. And also once per turn, if a face up Odd Eyes Pendulum monster you control is destroyed by Battle or Card Fact, you can destroy one card in your Pendulum Zone to place one face up Odd Eyes Pendulum in your extra deck in your Pendulum Zone. So more of a recycle power thanks to Mirage, with the last of the Odd Eyes cards being one copy of Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. If it's in your hand, you can tribute one Dark Monster, send one Odd Eyes Dragon from your hand deck or face up on the field of the graveyard. If you do, special summon this card. And with this card, if it's in your hand, you can always just go for the initial Pendulum Summon with this card so you can get around the needing of Odd Eyes Dragon for its summon. But if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Odd Eyes Monster from your deck or graveyard except for Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. And then you can add one Spiral Flame Strike from your deck to your hand. So once again, you don't need the Odd Eyes Dragon. You just need the option to be able to Pendulum Summon out in your Odd Eyes Wizard. And then you get the search for the great search spell, Spiral Flame Strike to your hand as well. For some of the other Pendulum Monsters that we run for the engine, three copies of Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm and the two copies of Supreme King Gate Zero to be able to search off of this card. I'm not running any of the other new cards. They're more focused for the Zark deck. This is just an added engine giving us a another level seven monster to then be able to use with our odd eyes monsters to overlay into our odd eyes rank seven xyz monsters supreme king darkhorn being another monster that can just be summoned from the graveyard quite easily onto the field to get us that search resource without taking up our normal summon can then also be used for our link monsters like beyond the pendulum or the new exceed the pendulum and I also run the one copy of Noble Dragon Magician. This card helps for the synchro plays, being able to use an Odd Eyes in our Pendulum for the synchro play, using it as material. And then if all the other cards are Odd Eyes, you place it on the bottom of the deck. Then you can target one level seven Odd Eyes monster you control, reduce its level by three. So you have Noble Dragon on the field and then your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon using both of those monsters and we'll make Odd Eyes the level four monster. So then you can summon out your Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon with this synchro play or even are clear wing synchro dragon for the performer pal engine that i'm running three copies of performer pal skull Crabat joker another searcher it can also search out the odd eyes card which is why it's a definite three of in the deck searching out any of the odd eyes monsters we run and then also the one copy of performer pal odd eyes dissolver for more fusion plays the one odd eyes seer for graveyard recycle and the monkey board to be able to search out any of the performer pal monsters that we mentioned before as well with this card during the main phase if it was active this turn to add one level four lower performer power monster from our deck to our hand so then monkey board can then be used to add the skull cravat which skull cravat can then search out the other cards as well and then the last of the Pendulum Monsters, the one copy of Astrograph Sorcerer, another special summonable card, and more search if one of the cards were destroyed by battle or a card effect. So even if you use Odd Eyes Destruction Play, you can summon out Astrograph Sorcerer and get that additional search of that Odd Eyes card to your hand. Moving on now to the spells, I run the three copies of Spiral Flame Strike. You activate one of these effects. If you control an Odd Eyes card, target one card in the field and destroy it. Or you can add to your hand one level seven Odd Eyes monster from your deck or one face up level seven Odd Eyes pendulum from your extra deck. So with this card, you have Recycle or Search Power. If you need either Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum or Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, you have a search for either one of these cards. Very, very versatile for that search to get out the particular pendulum monster you need the next card is our field spell two copies of sky iris your opponent cannot target magician perform power odd eyes cards in your pendulum zone for the added play of being able to target them with card effects you can target one other face-up card you control destroy it and if you do add one odd eyes card from your deck to your hand having a good variety of search for the majority of other cards that we run in the deck while added protection for all of our other cards as well thanks to sky iris and also the one copy of Odd Eyes Fusion for more extra deck plays of being able to fusion summon out some of our go-to fusion monsters with this card. The one copy of Pendulum Evolution, being able to shuffle one Pendulum monster from our hand into the deck to add one Pendulum monster with 
2500 attack in a different name. It gives us more surge power with this continuous spell as one of the newer cards from Age of Overlord. And also, I run the two copies of Duelist Alliance. If there is a card in the Pendulum Zone, add one Pendulum, Pendulum Monster, or Pendulum Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. So you have search for the new Pendulum Evolution spell I mentioned before, or any of our Odd Eyes monsters that have Pendulum in their card name as well, thanks to this spell. With the last of the spells that we run in the deck being the one copy of Foolish Burial and the one Dragon Shrine to be able to have a send option for our Supreme King Dragon Darkworm to the graveyard to then summon out to the field to give us our search for Zero King Gate Zero for that play. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. For the Link Monsters, I run the one copy of Beyond the Pendulum. It has the search power and then also setting up easy scales for our extra deck monsters to be able to summon out. The one Exceed the Pendulum, a Link 3 monster, gains 100 attack for each Pendulum monster card you control. You go and use each effect of Exceed the Pendulum once per turn. If it's Link Summon, you can add one face-up Pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. And during the main phase, quick effect, you can special summon one Pendulum monster from your hand or graveyard in deep defense position with a level between the pendulum scales of the two cards in your zone giving us other targets for cards like dragon shrine we can send odd eyes knowing we can then be able to summon it back off of cards like exceed the pendulum if we've ever gone for the dark worm play the one heretic seal of heavenly spheres since it is a mostly dragon deck another good link target and also the one zephra metaltron and the one apollosa for the rest of the link monsters to be able to go into as well and then for the Xyz monsters, I run the one copy of Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. More special summon power, but also if it's sent to the graveyard, being able to summon one Odd Eyes monster from our extra deck gives us plays to just be able to summon out directly Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. We can also summon out Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon and then just send it to the graveyard for a Link Summon. As long as we have one other Pendulum monster, we can even use it for Beyond the Pendulum as long as the other card we use is a Pendulum monster. One Odd Eyes Rebellion Xyz Dragon with this card if you can pendulum summon a level seven you can pendulum summon this card as well from your extra deck it cannot be used as material for an xc summon the turn it was xc summon and you can detach one material from this card to target two monster opponent control with 3000 less attack destroy them you can use this effect of odd eyes rebellion xc's dragon once per turn and then being able to place it in the pendulum zone as well if you do so so with this card you have more of an xc's play to rely on with your rank seven monsters for that setup and destruction of your opponent's cards also the one copy of zeus and sky crisis to use as other overlay options, whether they be with our Xyz monsters or any of our other extra deck summons. And for the fusion monsters, one copy of Perform Pal Gatling Ghoul. We have the Odd Eyes Dissolver to use a Perform Pal and a level 5 or higher Dark Monster or our Odd Eyes monsters to be able to summon out this card. Vortex Dragon, you can go for the fusion play with Odd Eyes Fusion to make it or off of Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. The one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon and the one Odd Eyes Venom Dragon, they don't summon out often. Uh, most of the time I will make the Starving Venom and very rarely if I have the the dissolver to use i can use the odd eyes venom dragon for that play to summon it out with the last of our cards being our synchro monsters the one odd eyes meteor burst dragon and the one clear wing synchro as other ones to use with our noble synchro dragon magician tuner to use with our odd eyes monster to summon out these monsters onto the field and as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, the setup with our Odd Eyes monsters is one of the more important ones to rely on. So if we have the initial hand setup with our two Odd Eyes monsters, and let's say we even just have the Sky Iris, otherwise we'd be relying on the end phase search of Odd Eyes for the special summon power of Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. You can also use the search power. You don't have the particular pendulum you need, just setting up the one in your pendulum zone. Own, and then adding one of the other ones with cards like Spiral Flame Strike. So you'll set the scale with both of your Odd Eyes cards, activating your Sky Iris, also using Sky Iris to destroy your Odd Eyes. This will then give you the search of a another card for your search. So then you can use the Odd Eyes card to then be able to add Odd Eyes Persona Dragon to your hand. The Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum will then resolve as well, being able to special summon out an Odd Eyes monster onto the field. 
So you can grab another Odd Eyes from your deck. You can then set the Pendulum Scale with the Persona Dragon that you searched off of your card as well. Then use the Pendulum Summon to summon out the additional Odd Eyes monster onto the field. And if you had any other additional monsters in your hand, you have the 1 and 8 scale as well to then be able to summon out those cards. If you have cards like Supreme King Dark Worm in your hand, I recommend going for the normal summon before all else because then you'll get the additional search to be able to search out your Supreme King Gate Zero, which can also be included with the Pendulum Summon, giving you those four of resources on the field because then you can use the Zero and your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to overlay into your Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Then use the Odd Eyes Absolute and the Dark Worm for a Link 2 play, summoning out your Beyond the Pendulum. When this card's Link Summon, you can pay 1200 to add a Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand, but for the rest of this turn, unless you Pendulum Summon that monster, you cannot, after this effect resolves, activate monster effects. So remember that with that search, but still, you can either go for that search and setup with your Beyond the Pendulum, or you can go for the additional Link to play, which is your Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, because the requirements for this is two Dragon Monsters, which you also met with your Dark Worm and your Eyes Absolute. Keeping the monster effects active, you can also then have the In Graveyard effect of Absolute Dragon activate to then give you an Odd Eyes Vortex on the field, giving you the protection of your field spell, the additional monster to attack into your opponent, the bigger fusion monster that can also bounce cards on your opponent's side of the field, and a quick play link monster to bounce monsters as well on your opponent's turn and also. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done an update to the Odd Eyes deck, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.